Hey, what's going on guys? It's Heavy here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to start off this video with a little announcement. Um, So, I'm doing a SMP with my friends for a modded SMP. Um, it's going to be pretty fun, I think. It should have a bunch of cool mods. But, I want to start off by asking you guys, should I make videos on it? It's video slash stream. Because I want to know your opinions. Because I don't want to just make a video that you guys don't want to see. So... Before I get started on this video, I want to know if you guys want to see that, and yeah, let's get right on with the video. Alright guys, I want to start this part of the video off by saying this video might be a little bit laggy, because this thing, this thing right here, is very laggy. Um, it's an infinite refined radiance farm, which you can actually use, um, um, in the create mod, you can use refined radiance to make, um, block zappers, you can make deforesters, which cut down, like, trees in, like, one thing. You can make radiant casing, which doesn't really have a use yet. You can also make wand of symmetries. So, this thing pumps out, like, a crap ton of refined- this is chromatic compounds. Um, if you just chuck, uh, some chromatic compounds in the, um, beacon, you get refined radiance. Um, so that's how you make the refined- that's how you actually make the refined radiance. But, to start this video off, I think I'm just gonna go over, um, how the basis of this thing works. So, to get refined radiance, you need to combine, um, polished rose quartz, three powdered obsidian, and three glowstone dust in a mechanical mixer with a blaze cake under it, uh, with a blaze burner too. And that'll get you one chromatic compound. So, the way I had to do this was, First, I think I started off with making the infinite, um, blaze cake farm. So, to make blaze cakes, you need, um, to- a blaze cake base, and you also need lava. So, the blaze cake base is used by making eggs, sugar, and cinder flour. And, right here, I have some eggs that are going into this, um, mechanical, uh, what is it? Mechanical press. And then I also have some sugar going into the mechanical press as well. And finally, I have, um, some netherrack up here that's being put in by the, uh, mechanical, what is this, mechanical arm, um, that's being put into a chute, which is crushed, when you crush up, um, netherrack, it, uh, makes cinder flour, which, again, you need to make the blaze cake bases. So, over here, we have, um, this is where the cinder the blaze cake bases get, um, smushed. And that, as you can see, there's one that just got filled up. And then it drops onto this thing. Um, there's some lava in here, which gets filled up by the, um, that was the mechanical pump, and then it goes into the spout. And then once the, um, once it gets filled up, it goes along this, um, me mechanical belt, yep. And goes into a chest with, um, a depot on the back, so these mechanical arms can pick it up if needed um, to heat everything over here. So this is where all the um, the blaze cakes go, where the blaze burner is. And yeah, that's, that's how you heat up the blaze burner. Um, the next thing we're going to go over with is um, how you make the redstone, the, res the polished rose quartz. So first thing that you need to do to make redstone, um, you need, what is it? Yeah, you need strength potions and cinder flower, which again, cinder flower you crush up netherrack. So, potion of strength is brewed by making an aqua potion, which is just nether wart and um, water. And then, that is um, brewed up to make a strength potion, which you can then put cinder flower on it with a spout, and that's how you get the redstone. So, over here, we have, um, where is it? Yeah, right here, so right here is a nether, some nether wart combined with some water. Um, so the water gets taken out of this creative fluid tank out here just for show. So if you want to make a infinite water source, you can just do that. But this gets taken out by the mechanical pump, gets put in here with the nether wart. The nether wart gets taken from somewhere around here, I don't know. It's, a, it's in a creative crate. Um, but that's how you get the, um, the awkward potion. Then the Aqua Potion gets put into this place right here with the bla um, Blaze uh, Powder, which you get from right here, um, taking, taken from the Creative Crate again. Um, but then here, 
uh, all of the strength potion gets filtered out into this pipe. Um, goes up like this. Yeah, yeah, it goes along down here. And then it gets filtered up. Um, goes through a mechanical um, pump just to make it go faster. And then it gets put into the spout. So then the spout, um, so for example here, there's some uh, cinder flower, which gets made into redstone, which then redstone filtered out, goes into this um, mechanical depot. And then um, it goes in here with some quartz, which the, how do you get the quartz is, so you have to, um, prismer and crystal you get from guardians. So you'll have to build a guardian farm, which is a little unfortunate, but that's how you get the prism and crystals. Then they go into um, this uh, crusher, crushing wheel system, and the quartz goes along here, and then it gets filtered out right here. Um, then it goes up in here, and then it gets put straight into this uh, mechanical mixer setup we have here, and that mixes up into rose quartz, just plain out rose, rose quartz. Over here, we have, um, once the rose quartz, uh, comes out, right here, the mechanical, uh, uh, what is it, arm picks it up, and then the mechanical arm picks it up again, and then it goes along here, and then goes up, and then into over here, so it gets picked up and smushed into there. That's, that's where the chromatic compound comes out, and then the next thing we needed to do was we need to get sandpaper to actually power this thing right here the for the making the just regular rose quartz into polished rose quartz so we need sandpaper is pretty easy all you need to do is combine sand and paper as it says in the name and then this gets put into the um deployer which then as you saw polishes the rose quartz so that's how you get the rose quartz the next part is getting the um, the glowstone. So the glowstone is another product of if you um, crush these prismarine crystals. So as you can see, the um, rose quartz gets put up here, and then boom, the rose quartz goes into here. That's the second part of making refined radiance. Um, as you can see here, you need glowstone, and then the final part that you need is powdered obsidian. So the powdered obsidian, so how you get obsidian, first of all, you can actually automate obsidian. Yeah, it, it's pretty crazy. You can automate obsidian. So if you wash a magma block, um, it turns into obsidian. So the way you get magma blocks is magma cream. The way you get magma cream is slime balls and blaze powder. Otherwise, you could also kill um, magma, magma blocks or whatever they're called, magma cream. Um, the magma guys. But how you get those is you need slime balls and blaze powder. So slime balls, you can create dough and lime dye to go together. Um, how you get dough is just a complete circle, is you crush or mill um, wheat. So if you wanted to, again, um, make magma, you'll have to get slime balls, which are pretty simple. You just need to do this, um, this uh, crafting recipe or you can just automate it um, by putting in a mixer and a basin. But that's how you get the slime. Now, the next part is pretty self-explanatory. You have to get the um, the blaze powder, which is pretty self-explanatory. You can't actually automate this, sadly. Um, so you'll just have to get um, a blaze farm set up. But other than that, that's how it works. So what we have here is a creative crate with some uh, wheat inside it. So you can easily um, just set up a wheat farm here and it would work just fine. However, I decided to do this instead. And then that's crushed, that, that gets crushed up into wheat flour. And then whenever um, this thing senses that dough is in here. So it has, uh, we have a content observer, which senses when there's dough in here. It gets um, put through a one tick, one second adjustable repeater, and then there's a, yep, there it is. There it activates. And then over here, there's a clutch. So whenever it senses, so dough, it gets activated. Like once once this thing senses that, it gets activated and this thing puts it in here with lime dye that um, you need to put green dye and white dye together. So the way you can actually, you can actually automate getting white dye. So the way you automate getting white dye is by so you, so you can actually make white dye out of cobblestone so 
cobblestone, um, if you put it through a uh, crusher, um, it goes into gravel. And then the things you can do with gravel when you crush it is you get sand. Now, if you crush sand, you can get a chance at getting bone meal. You can also get lime sand if you want that. Um, there's a chance at getting bone meal, 10% chance. So I've used that and I've basically made it so the sand goes along here and then it gets crushed once more. And then it, the bone meal, as you can see right there, gets put in an automatic crafter, which crafts it into um, bone meal, gets put in this deployer. And whenever we need bone meal over here to make lime dye, they'll just put it together. Um, mechanical arm will put it in there. And then lime dye gets smushed out here. And then the dough and the lime dye go together to create slime balls. And then the slime balls move along this um, little chute right here, this little uh, mechanical belt. Then they go together and they go into a uh, mechanical press which compacts it into um, magma, magma blocks, which gets washed, as you saw, into obsidian. And then the obsidian goes along right here and it goes into the crusher because we needed powdered obsidian. Powdered obsidian goes along here, and then boom, goes into this thing where we have the chromatic compounds. As you can see, it's mixing. Then it gets put onto here and right in the chest. So that's how you get um, chromatic chromatic compounds slash refined radiance farm. Um, if any of you are interested, I might leave the schematic down below, although I might not just because of how much time it took me to do this. If you want to contact me on Discord, um, that's completely fine. Um, I'm, I'll probably be more inclined to send you just the document of the schematic. But anyways, um, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Peace.